I love great conversations. Hi, my name is Angel Jones. Thank you for joining me on 12 Minute Convos where I help you create a brand of your own unique real self. Listen in as I have conversations with amazing people from all over the world. Good night, good night, Matt Brooks. How are you going on this wonderful, beautiful night? I'm doing all right. A great pleasure to connect with you, Matt. What part of the world are you in right now? I'm in uh, the United States in Florida. That's wonderful, wonderful. And which of your talents is responsible for us connecting at this time? Well, I don't know. I, uh, I do the internet marketing thing. I am I have my own fashion design company. I'm a videographer and I also write a little bit. Ooh, you definitely are doing a lot, aren't you? A little bit. <laughs> That's intriguing. Yeah. All right. All right. So let's do what, let's do what, who did you learn that those skills from, which is that entrepreneurial skill set, if you would. Yeah. Um, so probably a little, little bit of column A and a little bit of column B. So like, uh, there's a lot that I've taught myself and there's a lot, you know, through experience. And then there's a lot that I, uh, picked up from, um, college. Hmm. Pretty intriguing. Now, if I'm not mistaken, Matt, you, when I looked over what you do, like there's an, there's, ah, uh, is it 912? 912? Oh, am I mixing you up? Oh my gosh. <laughs> While being <laughs> live, uh, is it that you create, like, created like an entrepreneurial space um, in, and it's called Loft 912? No? No, no, no. No, that's not me. Whew. Remind me of your podcast, please. <laughs> um, I've, I haven't had a podcast in a while. I had one uh, that I was a guest host on uh, many years ago now called Knoxcast, where I was uh, kind of like the MC of, of a more of a variety show style podcast. Wow. How did we connect then? Did we connect via LinkedIn? LinkedIn. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I'm sure I followed you up because you booked in like today, right? <laughs> yeah, as soon as, as soon as I saw it, I was like, "Oh, that sounds cool." Yeah, I was like, so I I got home today. I was like, "Okay, Matt knew because someone canceled this evening, right?" And I said, "Okay, mm-hmm. let me look up what Matt does." And then it's you, and then there's <laughs> Dania, right, who is new today. Mm-hmm. So I was like, "Okay, what does Matt do? What does Matt do?" Well, tell us Matt more of what you do. What doesn't Matt do? <laughs> <laughs> I call what I do juggling chainsaws. <laughs> so. Because if you mess up on any one of them, you can take an arm right off. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> That's amazing. All right, my friend. Well, let's keep on going. Now, where's the best place for people to connect with what you do, Matt? Uh, probably LinkedIn right now um, or through my uh, uh, T-shirt company, BrainiacThreads.com. Mm, yeah, let's talk about Brainiac Threads. Tell us about what you do there. Yeah. So Brainiac Threads came from a, uh, a, a personal desire to... Um, cause I, I, I wear a lot of t-shirts and so I got really sick and tired of, you know, while it's cool, I love it, uh, comic book stuff and, you know, bands and stuff from the eighties is great, but, um, nobody was doing anything outside of that. Right. There was like the, the, the surfer shirt is kind of come and gone. And so I thought, you know, why don't I take something that's cool and factual like, uh, science and all the facets therein and kind of put the. Uh, the, the common t-shirt company spin on it and, and see what I can come up with. And so I've been slowly, you know, creating designs for that for almost a year now. Wow. Now, just to clarify, like 1119, is that you, Ma? 1119? No. The numbers, I don't... Uh, wow. Oh, wow, this guy looks exactly like you, Matt. <laughs> <laughs> but this guy's in Michigan. Wow, 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 wow. I am definitely not a Michigainer. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, that's cool. All right. Wow, how confusing could that be? <laughs> <laughs> this is the first I'm much time more this is happening. Than whoever that is. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so you're doing the t-shirt world, right? Um, that's my side gig, but the uh, the primary responsibility, the nine to five job, is at American Carcraft. Right, right. Tell us about that, please. So imagine, if you will, the most dramatic uh, but small type of uh, uh, startup e-commerce type of environment um, possible. Uh, think uh, if you ever watch a reality TV show in the automotive space, like uh, senior versus junior, where it's the father versus the son, and they're constantly at each other's throats and fighting. But in, in my world, it's ex-husband versus ex-wife. And then one of the sons thrown in there just for an extra kick of spice. <laughs> mm. 
Hmm. And um, we're just slowly trying to conquer the uh, automotive aftermarket world, right? So um, we're, we're, we're nationally distributed worldwide in some circumstances. Uh, we, we ship to Australia, uh, the Netherlands, France, the UK, um, but mostly in the U.S. because that's what primarily what the, uh, the products they design are for. All right, all right. Well, you're definitely having fun on both sides of the spectrum, right? This is the side hustle and the day job. All right. Yep. Yeah. Right. I keep it creative, though. Right. So there's the SEO aspect uh, of the nine to five. But then we also do um, video shoots. We do installation how to's. We do just fun, crazy project videos. Like right now, I'm working on a, uh, a Star Wars uh, Sith SS Camaro video where it's uh, the, like if Darth Maul had a uh, muscle car, what would he have? And like we did this Darth Maul Camaro. I love it. Love it. Yeah. So I'm looking at the website now. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. I have a good friend to connect you with. Wow. Oh, yeah. Yeah, he paints in Canada. He paints cars. He's pretty amazing as well. He has a YouTube channel. I'll definitely oh, cool. link you. Yeah, Gabriel Marino. Yeah, pretty. I think you'll do very well together. Wow. Oh, yeah, definitely point us in his direction. Yeah, most definitely, most definitely. So tell us one other thing that you've done consistently, Matt, over the last three years. Uh, lost hair. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I used to have such a mane. Um <laughs> <laughs> uh, but you know, outside of, outside of the, uh, the the videography and the um, you know the, the SEO marketing email marketing world, um, the one thing that I've managed to do consistently is is maintain my creativity in, in the in the face of of all the, uh, the 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 chainsaws up in the air, if you will. Um, it's it's important that it, that you maintain uh, cr- your creativity in that because otherwise you'll get complacent complacency kills and it'll kill your creativity first and foremost before your career hmm. how does that make you feel uh well it's like uh like like i said someone who's been juggling chainsaws for the last several years the longer i do it the more i have to make sure i don't take a hand off but i'm i'm still making sh- making it a uh, thrilling show for the audience to watch hmm. yeah it's, you're definitely cool so how does it make you feel like as an individual knowing that you're doing what you're doing um understanding that at some point um, you will not get the recognition, right? <laughs> well, it, you know, in marketing, we're like the uh, we're the 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 the, 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 mas- the puppet master behind the stage, right? So yeah. it's 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 more my my recognition is in the numbers, mm-hmm. um, and even in even in my company, you know, the owners may not understand the numbers. So even when I'm like huge win, look at this ROI, they're like, well, I don't have money in my pocket. To me, I still see the win and so it's still a positive uh impact for me so i'm 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 constantly chasing that uh that fulfillment through you know uh it's like a like a uh someone who's at the top of their game they're 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 testing themselves right so we don't have much in comp in the world of competition for what we do specifically so in in terms of looking at my numbers i'm constantly just trying to beat myself i don't really worry about when anybody else is doing yeah that's intriguing you're like the um the quality you're like the lab right um the quality aspect of what's going on um you don't mm-hmm. see what or how the numbers arrive but you know they're important right yeah, yeah. it's intriguing all right all right well, let's have some fun now Matt. let's switch gears for a moment now and let me invite you into my time machine that is surrounded with beautiful warm blue caribbean water Mark, what is your earliest childhood memory? Oh, let's see. Probably uh, hanging out in the living room, uh, watching TV with my my dad on the floor. <laughs> hmm. How old do you think you were? Probably about four to six. Why do you think this memory is so clear? Uh, I don't know. Uh, my dad recently passed away, so I'm probably like you know uh-huh. searching for memories to hold on to from from him. But uh, it was a routine that we had, um, so it, it was easier to. Um, stick yeah yeah i'm so sorry to hear about your father's passing my friend uh, oh, can i offer an interpretation to the thought picture you created in my mind absolutely i love the idea of the value that goes with memories and the way they're constructed and the idea that you can have or you can make the choice in the ones that you do keep um mm-hmm. to take with you for the rest of your life understanding that you are the guy that are doing that now even with the day job right Mm -hmm. um constructing memories in a way that the customer um um, can really assimilate the information right Mm -hmm. um it's just intriguing how those both connect for me you doing that in your life with your experiences and as well as with the business side of the company and doing that for them as well even with the t-shirt right Mm mm-hmm 
pretty intriguing, right? Yeah, yeah. I, I told my uh, assistant when she first started, we are artists and scientists at the same time at all times. Hmm. That's amazing. Well, Matt, if we fast forward to when you were 12 years old, what was your favorite song? Man, there were so many good songs in 1992. Um I'll give you. Can I give you a couple? Yeah, shoot. Jump around from House of Pain. Jump around. Jump uh, around. 3 a.m. Eternal from KLF. Uh, Arrested Development, uh, Tennessee. And PM Dawn's I Die Without You. Well, I mean, it's no, it's no, um, no surprise that you will assimilate that you would have assimilated again uh, a host of songs, right? <laughs> Go with the memory. <laughs> Oh, pretty amazing, pretty amazing. Well, Matt, we've arrived at our destination now, but before we get off of this time machine, there is a small declaration form. So it's yes or no, possibly a bit more. We're going to move pretty quickly here. Are you ready, Matt? I'm ready. Matt, have you chosen someone to pass on your skills to? Probably my employees and my kids. Hmm. Are you married? I am. How many children do you have? Three. Do you believe in God? No. Do you have an inner circle of friends? Yes. Do you watch TV for more than three hours a day? Uh, no. How about three hours a week? Uh, maybe, yeah. What about screen time, the phone and the other computer? Is it more than eight or less than eight hours a day? Oh, yeah, more than eight. <laughs> uh, Matt, if you had to share with us your own unique real statement, a statement that represents who you are, what would you say that is? Uh, I would steal an old quote and say, learn like you'll live forever and live like you'll die tomorrow. Mm, love it. Matt, this was a great pleasure. Before you leave, is there anything else you'd like to share with our amazing audience? Uh, yeah, be sure to check out BrainiacThreads.com and also AmericanCarCraft.com for some crazy stainless steel stuff to put on your car. Yeah, pretty amazing stuff. I'm looking at it. Matt Books, <laughs> <laughs> thank you, my friend, for being on What is Inspired by 12-Minute Convoys with Angel Jones. Hey, thanks for having me. Thank you for being on 12-Minute Convoys with Angel Jones. Stay tuned for more from our advertisers. Diabetes is a mountain pandemic. It's a disease that's not acute, but chronic. Similar to this rhyming method, I have simplified the definition, the signs and symptoms, and the complications of diabetes for both adults and children in my books, Poems for Patients, A Focus on Diabetes, and The ABCs of Diabetes for Children. These books are available on Amazon.com and for more information, you can visit my website, poemsbyag.com. That's poemsbyag.com.